Hi everyone, my name is Sarah and welcome back to Rainy Day Crochet. Today I'm sharing some updates on projects that I've been working on. I have a couple of finished objects to show you and then I'll share some updates on my work in progress uh, projects or whoops. And then I'll also share some uh, plans for future projects that I plan to complete in the upcoming weeks. Now you may notice my hair is a lot shorter if you're a returning viewer. I did get a haircut today, actually. It had been about two years since my last haircut. I was growing it out and then, of course, uh, a little virus came into the picture and prevented me from going to the hair salon until now. And I was really happy to be able to get it cut. Um, it's very short and I honestly really love how it turned out. So I hope you do as well. <laughs> So starting off, I want to talk first about finished objects, and I have two finished objects to share with you. The first one is a project bag that I sewed myself. I made this for myself. I shared a vlog about making it, and this is kind of what it looks like. And I really like it. This fabric is 100% cotton, both colors. And I just picked this up from Joann's. This was actually the last little bit of fabric, so I was really happy that I was able to snag it before it all went away because it's a really nice uh, floral print. And the drawstrings, I actually didn't pick up any rope. Uh, I had cotton yarn, white cotton yarn that I haven't really used, and so I decided to use that as the little drawstring portion which works out really well. It's definitely, it's definitely not perfect, but it does the job and I've been using it to store my rosary jumper sweater, which I'll share an update on in just a little bit. But it also is pretty roomy inside. I just use this kind of, um, it's like almost like a periwinkle blue. I'm not sure if that's showing up on camera, but it's beautiful and it holds a fair amount in there even though it's relatively small compared to other project bags, but I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I was definitely inspired by spring making this, so hence the colors and the print on the fabric, and I really like how that turned out. The next finished object that I want to talk about, I actually don't have with me. It was a present for someone. It was another pair of tiny overalls for a little baby, and I'll share an image of those so you can see what they look like. I share more frequent updates about projects I'm working on over on my Instagram, so if you want to follow me there, uh, it's just at underscore rainy day crochet. Those overalls are super cute, and the recipient really loved them. I was really happy to make them for them, uh, and the baby looks so adorable in those tiny little overalls. So I will definitely be making more of those in the future because I love how they uh, turn out and they're super adorable. So those are the two main finished objects that I have. Um, I did have a little bit of some life stuff pop up, nothing serious, but it did prevent me from working on crafting um, as much as I'm used to, so I haven't made a whole lot of progress on my other projects, but I do have a bit of progress to show you, which is why I wanted to make this video. So the first project I'll update you on is my 2021 temperature blanket. It's been really fun, but I have not kept up with it very much. I only have a few days to catch up on, and I've been trying to work through them. So I'll just share what I have right now and just kind of discuss um, what I think so far. It's been three, four, it's been four months now of working on this blanket and I really like it. So this is what I have so far. As you can see, a whole lot of off-white and soft blue. Looking ahead in my weather forecast, there are some days that are supposed to be pretty warm. Um, warm as in 70 degrees, but I have a feeling that I'll be able to add more colors very soon, which is great because there's just a large chunk of off-white and soft blue after these, the, these lovely rows of sunshine when we had snow for a couple of days. And I'm ready to kind of put in a new color and um, switch it up a little bit <laughs> with 
with the colors. So I'm looking forward to those warm days, both for my blanket, but also for myself. Um, <laughs> kind of tired of the cold weather and I'm ready, definitely ready for summer. If you want to learn more about my temperature blanket plans, I have a video where I go in depth uh, into what I am planning to do with it, what colors I want to include, uh, the temperature ranges that I chose, everything about my blanket. So I'll link it up above if you want to check that out. And I haven't changed much. The only thing that I've changed for my original plan was taking the high temperature. I actually am just taking the temperature at 10 a.m. instead. Um, just works out for me to take it at 10 a.m. Uh, so that's something that I did change. But other than that, I haven't changed anything else. So I want to move on and talk about my next work in progress or my next whip and it is the Rosary Jumper by Rosary Apparel. Now my temperature blanket is a crochet project. This one is a knitting project which has been really fun. I've recently gotten back into knitting and it has been challenging but also a lot of fun and knitting was the first thing I learned before crochet so I want to share the update that I have on this project. So here I have my 80% um, complete front piece and it's worked flat as you can see um, so I still have a ways to go. Uh, there were a couple of weeks where I wasn't really able to work on anything as I mentioned. It's a beautiful pinkish reddish color, more pink than red but it still has some red tones in there. It's really great, 100% wool. I love how it works up. It's not slippery, it's not super itchy, um, so it's been great to work with. The last whip I have to share with you is the uh, window pane blanket by Daisy Farm Crafts. And I've been working on this one. I switched up this one and I'll show you what I mean. So here's what it looks like. So I picked um, pink and white because this is a present for someone and they really like the color pink. Um, I'm not a huge pink fan myself other than kind of more reddish pinks like the sweater I'm working on but not really blush or anything like that. Um, but they really like pink so that's why I chose white and pink. And I switched the colors so in their original piece that they made, they actually made the inner squares dark blue and the outer parts white, um, but I switched it up because I thought this makes it a little bit less pink, like in your face pink, and this way it's more of just like a nice little detail for the blanket. Now I don't remember how many stitches I cast on and I forgot to count, but as you can see it is very very wide and with something like, this is technically I guess kind of gingham, where you carry the yarn with you as you go, it uses a lot of yarn. And I was finding that I was having a hard time making progress on it because of how many times you have to switch the color. And I think I just made it too wide. What I decided to do was to actually flip it. So instead of it going up, up this way, I'm actually flipping it so that this is the length part and I'm working across this way. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm working across this way instead of this way. That way it's not as much yarn that I need to use and it, it definitely feels like I've been making more progress that way. It is long enough that it will still be like a throw size, which is what I was aiming for. I think I just started with too many stitches and I was having a tough time kind of <laughs> justifying the amount of yarn that I was using. So this way is much better and it will still be the size that I intended it to be. I'm not sure if I'm going to add a border or not to it. I kind of like how it looks without a border but it might look a little more finished with a border. I don't know. If you have any thoughts you can tell me in the comments below but I'm still deciding on whether or not I want to put a border on it. And then obviously I have ends to weave in. So that's all I have for finished objects and then current projects I'm working on. As for future projects, I did get some yarn for some overalls, more baby overalls because you can never have too many, right? And I got a very similar color to the last pair I made. 
So this is paint box recycled cotton worsted yarn. And I liked that it was recycled cotton. Um, it makes it feel I don't know, a little more sustainable, I guess. Um, and this is in the color Tea Dance. And it's a really nice pink color. Uh, this is going to be for two twin girls. Very cute, very excited to make those. I've already started, but I haven't made enough progress to kind of show you. So I'm sure I will share the finished products um, when I'm done with them. The other project I have planned for the upcoming weeks, or maybe even starting this weekend, is a dress that I want to sew. Uh, I mentioned in the vlog where I made the project bag that I want to get back into sewing. It's something that I used to do a lot when I was younger with my mom. We would make dresses and little outfits for my like beanie babies and dolls and um, stuff for my cousins as well and it was always so much fun. And of course, you know, I always had my mom there to help me out because she's way more talented at sewing than I am, but I do want to get back into sewing and I wanted to make a dress for this summer. So I found a tutorial by uh, Rosary Apparel, surprise, surprise, um, and it's a kind of shirred um, bodice dress with puff sleeves. I don't know <laughs> what to call it, but it has really puffy sleeves and kind of a shirt or sheared, I don't know how to say it, um, top. And it's just really flowy, really airy, perfect for the hot summer days. I want to be able to make my own clothes. That way I know that it's made sustainably and ethically. Really excited to make that. It's definitely going to be a little bit of a challenge, but the project bag went okay and that was kind of my test to see, okay, you know, can I jump into an actual project yet or should I do more like practice projects? And I guess the other thing that I want to make is a little tote bag out of that same fabric that I used for the project bag. I still have some left over. So that will be another way to practice before I jump into making this dress. But I am very excited to make that and show you the end result. Um, it's, I forgot to grab it, but you'll see the fabric in a next in a future video. I really like uh, having you know a bunch of pieces of fabric and being able to join that into a garment or whatever you're making. I think that's really awesome and a skill that kind of is disappearing <laughs> from the world. So I definitely want to practice and get better at it um, so that I can pass that on to future generations. That is all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this little update on all the projects that I've been working on or finished and what would I plan to make in the future. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up because that really helps me know which videos you're actually enjoying. And if you're new here and you'd like to stick around, I'd really love it if you subscribed so you catch my future videos. If you want to keep up with me on Instagram, feel free to follow me over there as well. As I mentioned, my username is at underscore rainy day crochet and I'll have all of that linked down below. I hope that you have a great day wherever you are in the world and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.